If you want a tasty, sweet treat to give your pit crew a big sugar rush, Southern Banana Pudding is your next dish on Pit Cuisine. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Pit Cuisine and behind the scenes scoop. So I grew up in Ohio and it took me a while after moving down south to really embrace the deliciousness that is Southern Banana Pudding. And it wasn't until I tasted my brother and sister-in-law's secret recipe one holiday that I really got it. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a life-changing moment. That's how good this is. So they're still guarding that recipe very closely, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. Went out, did some research, tried some different recipes, and put together a recipe of my own that I really like. Now banana pudding is perfect for the track. You just make a big tray of it, put out some spoons and bowls, and everybody can serve it up all day long anytime they need a good sugar rush, <laughs> because it is definitely a good sugar rush. So let's get making it. Here are the ingredients. One five ounce package instant vanilla pudding mix. One 14 ounce can sweetened condensed milk. Two 12 ounce containers of frozen whipped topping, thawed. One 16 ounce package of vanilla wafers. One tablespoon vanilla extract. About three to four bananas, or however many you like, sliced. And two cups cold milk. To serve, I'm putting mine in a six by nine tinfoil pan with a lid for easy transport to the track and cleanup. Combine the pudding mix and the milk in a medium sized mixing bowl. Mix for two minutes. Now add in the sweetened condensed milk and blend it in. Mix in the vanilla extract. Gently fold in the whipped cream and mix until it's completely combined. Now slice your bananas. You can put in as few bananas or as many bananas as you like. Line your pan with vanilla wafers. Now again, you can use as many or as few as you like. I try to get a pretty full layer across the bottom of the pan. Some people put them up around the sides too. The banana slices go next. Pour the banana pudding mixture over the wafers and banana slices and spread it evenly, smoothing it out at the top. Pour your second container of whipped cream over the banana pudding and carefully spread it so it covers all of the pudding. Now it's really easy to push too deep and get some of the pudding up into the whipped cream, so be really careful when you do this. Now to make it look pretty, you can crumble a few extra vanilla wafers over the top. To transport this safely and keep it cold at the track, I use a simple metal baking sheet. Make sure there's enough room in the top of your cooler to fit the pan and the pudding. Arrange the items inside your cooler so that you have an even surface and place the metal baking pan down and then just put your pan of pudding on top of the baking sheet. That keeps it from sliding around inside the cooler and it keeps the pudding super cold all day. Now let me know how this one works out for you and your pit crew. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more pit cuisine and behind the scenes scoops.